Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my videos on R, research and statistics. Today I wanted to share with you a really useful function and package called PipeDiff. So what PipeDiff does is it shows you the output of a series of piped uh, R functions or R commands. And so it shows you what's happening step by step. This is really helpful when you have something like what we've got here on screen where we've got multiple pipings and we're maybe not quite sure if it's doing what we want it to do. And so rather than having to manually step through each piece of this piped code, this does it for us. So the package is in a GitHub. It's not on CRAN. So this very top line here we need to run in order to install the package. Uh, so I, that there I will put below the library so you can just below the video so you can just copy and paste. Uh, then uh, for this we need our tidyverse because we are using tidyverse pipes. And so when we run the pipe diff function, we'll just run it, we'll notice up here in the environment window we now have a function uh, represented by the pipe. So instead of piping just acting as it normally does, it's going to do something a little bit different. Okay, so the other thing that's going to be important to note is the version of R that we're running. So I actually ran into an error message when I first was recording this and I was on 4.1.3. So I've updated to the latest version of R which right now is 4.2 and that has gotten rid of the error message. So that's always something to check if you do run into error messages is one of the reasons that it could be is that you are running a slightly out of date version of R or possibly other packages as well. So let's run this code and we will see what happens with pipe diff. Run it and we'll notice down in the console that we have this thing here saying press enter to continue and in the viewer window, we've got the first step. So we can see there's the yellow and the blue here. And so the blue is what's happening at the current step. As we step through, we'll notice that the yellow is the previous, what the previous step was. To start with, it's giving us our first step and our previous. Uh, so the first step is getting the data, which is an 87 by 14 of Star Wars. And then group by, and so it is grouping by species. When we hit enter, we can now see that it is showing the different groups, uh, and then it is showing the summarize. So up here we had a summarize, uh, we had mass, which was the mean mass, and we've got that down there. Uh, so we hit enter again, we can see that our mass has moved over one step and so now we've got the filter, filter is taking out the masses greater than 50, hit enter again and so now it is mutating with rounding, you can see that it's rounded, now it's made a data frame from this information and then finally in row number of rows is eight. So what that's done is that's allowed us rather than having to manually go through piece by piece, it's allowed us to step through this set of code and see what's going on at each step. And once you've run it then it turns itself off. So if I just go and run this code again it just runs straight through, ends up at the end row, gives us a number eight. So if I want to use it again, then I will need to rerun pipe diff, and then I've got it again to be able to run through step by step. So this is going to be really helpful for understanding code, particularly understanding other people's code. So some people can have quite idiosyncratic ways of setting up their code, and by moving step by step, it can make it much easier to understand. 